I'm here in Wellborn, Texas, with a squeaky windmill in a dirt parking lot. Gives me a hankering for some good old Texas grub. You know, something like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich or a sausage and peppers. Hey, how about at this diner over here? It's an actual New York diner from the 1940s, shipped out and restored in the middle of Texas. This is the authentic thing. This is the real deal. Couldn't get any more real. An authentic old diner from upstate New York plopped down just five miles from Texas A&M University. I'll tell as many people as I can to come out here and check it out. To come and it's check different. It. Thanks to this guy. These are the best. Rich Risbon. I grew up eating these. A transplanted Philadelphian who's turning Texans onto the food he grew up with. Delicious. Grew up in an Italian family. My grandparents, great grandparents came from Sicily and stuff, so we always had, you know, authentic food. Now, Rich is teaching Texans you can put red sauce on almost anything. I've never had meatloaf with marinara sauce, but this is the best. And he's knocking them over with his Italian sausage and pepper sandwich. Reminds me of New York. And it is to die for. Well, I'll start out with, with fresh vegetables and then put them on the grill, season them a little bit. Coming in behind. Tell me about the sausage. It is very authentic. Lots of fennel, lots of crushed red pepper in it. Um, it's got a nice spice flavor to it. It comes actually out of um, Chicago. Chicago style sausage, or? Oh, it's uh, it's actually from Chicago. So. What do you have, like a cousin that flies in on a weekly basis? They got a few. They got a few Italians there too. So that's working right next to peppers and onions, and then some of the some of the rendering down, some of the fat coming off of the sausage helps get into the flavors Here's of the peppers more, and onions. Is it more flavor? Right on top of it. A little provolone. A little smoked provolone. Smoke provolone. Smoke provolone. Smoke provolone. Gives a little extra more flavor. Wow. So where do the rolls come from? Uh, those actually come out of New Jersey. You know, you are, supposed, you are supposed to buy things in the state in which you're... We do. We get our tomatoes from here. I'm going to burn my mouth. I can already tell, but I'm such a junkie for it. Mm. Oh, my. We were begging for something like this. They can thank Rich's girlfriend, Sydney. When she wanted to move back here to her hometown, Rich came along and brought his son, Richie. How's he doing? Um, when he gets here on time, <laughs> not too bad. At the exact moment that a local memorabilia collector was looking for someone to take over the diner, he bought on a whim and didn't know how to run. People must think you guys are just crazy. Now Rich is bringing the East Coast to Texas one dish at a time. Philly cheesesteak. What is the key to a great Philly cheesesteak? Well, it's really in the meat, and it's in, in the slicing of it. That's, that, I, I guess that's the real key, is, is slicing it. You know, this was in the freezer. It was rock hard last night. Kind of slack it out for six or eight hours. Slack it out? Slack it out. So it gets that's a, that's a, a Philly cheesesteak pro term. A little soft on the outside, but it's, the core is still, still pretty solid. OK, so this goes on. Now, that's a monster slicer. How thin are you looking for this to go? We're looking for. They got to go a little thinner a little than that. A little bit thinner than that. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. There's where the uh, flat spatula comes into play. He's bringing a spatula out of retirement for me. Wow. I have to go on with what the big, the big one, pancake huh? flipper here. The for you. Mongo. I could take a limb off with this thing. Now, look, man, you got to go. I didn't do the thing. This one right Bad here. Bad end down. There okay. you go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get it closer here. Now, Rich is a perfectionist. He does his classic Philly with just onions and white American cheese, but he also does variations like a pizza Philly with red and green peppers and marinara sauce. Ah! That hot sauce is dripping down the back of the thing. You got that South Philly stoop going there? You see it? <laughs> you see the arch of the That's back? It. That's it. The hand with the dripping pinky, OK? And then the hand and then the hand. That's off the hook, man. Yep, Philly cheesesteak, just like I got them in Texas. It's, ca it's catching on. But just in case, they're serving up Texas classics, too. Like biscuits covered in homemade gravy. Very good. <laughs> we grew up on it. Or that same gravy on French fries. They go, they see it come out of the tank, go, ooh, what's that? That is a, that is a, man, that's a mess. A mess of great food called a Mexi burger. Look at, look at it. Bean sausage patty tortillas. <laughs> chili verde sauce. Oh, you got to try that chili verde sauce. We make it from scratch. This just goes on our Smells bread. great. Rich picked that recipe up when he was cooking at a place in Colorado. It's great on his home fries cooked in bacon fat. Wow. And on a huge breakfast burrito. A little, 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 little bit more. It's like a pound and a half of food for six bucks. That's what? big. Like the best of the East Coast diners, Rich's place does breakfast all day long. 
huge omelets, pancakes as large as a plate, French toast flavored with vanilla and cinnamon, and even a French toast PBJ. And we take uh, French bread, smear peanut butter and jelly peanut all jelly. over it, dip it in our, on our French toast batter, and put it on the grill. Kids must go bananas. Goes real well. They wear they wear half of it because it's warm and the peanut butter is going on on their face and oh. stuff. But, but uh, I don't. I, I gotta like, tell you that one right there might be going to the Fietti house. Hunter, we're gonna do one. That's money, dude. Real long, first Billy. For Rich, Job runs the Italian stuff, the Philly food, something special he brought from home. I grew up with you know hold my great grandmother's apron. We have a passion for real homemade foods and the pleasure it gives people when they when they eat something like this and, and remember it because it's something they've never had. And for you, sir? And more and more, Texans are getting with the program. Don't worry, we're just watching you fight that pepper. <laughs> so if they're eating East Coast like Rich, maybe they ought to be talking West Coast like me. How was that first bite? Mm. A bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty, it's not a bomb, it's the bomb.